In the vast tapestry of religious history, the name Yeshua holds a profound significance, resonating through the ages as a symbol of faith, hope, and salvation. Derived from the Hebrew word meaning to deliver or to rescue, Yeshua is a name steeped in historical context and spiritual depth. As we delve into the origins of this sacred name, we uncover a rich narrative that not only sheds light on the life of Jesus but also challenges traditional depictions by portraying him as black. The name Yeshua finds its roots in ancient Hebrew, where it was commonly used to refer to individuals who embodied the qualities of a savior or deliverer. In religious texts such as the Old Testament, Yeshua is associated with figures like Joshua, who led the Israelites into the Promised Land. This name carries a weight of responsibility and divine purpose, signifying a chosen one destined to bring about redemption and liberation. As we navigate the annals of history, it becomes evident that representation matters deeply, especially when it comes to venerating historical figures. The portrayal of Jesus as a white man has been pervasive in Western art and culture, often overshadowing the diverse and multicultural reality of the ancient world. By embracing a more inclusive and diverse interpretation of historical figures, we honor the complexity of human experience and celebrate the myriad ways in which individuals from all backgrounds have shaped our collective heritage and recent years, there has been a growing movement to re-examine traditional depictions of Jesus and explore the possibility of his black heritage. By reclaiming the name Yeshua and reimagining Jesus as a person of color, we challenge the Eurocentric narratives that have dominated religious iconography for centuries. This reinterpretation not only highlights the diversity of the ancient world but also offers a more inclusive and empowering vision of Jesus as a figure who transcends racial boundaries and embodies the universal message of love and compassion. In conclusion, the name Yeshua serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring legacy of Jesus and the profound impact he has had on countless lives throughout history. By embracing a more diverse and inclusive understanding of the sacred name, we open ourselves to new possibilities for connection, empathy, and spiritual growth. The name Yeshua holds a profound significance that transcends cultural and linguistic boundaries, weaving a tapestry of meanings and interpretations across different traditions and communities. As we delve into the origins and meanings of this sacred name, we uncover a rich tapestry of diversity and unity that underscores the universal appeal of Yeshua as a symbol of hope, salvation, and divine grace. At its core, the name Yeshua is derived from a Hebrew word meaning to deliver or to rescue, reflecting its role as a beacon of salvation in religious texts. Across various languages and cultures, Yeshua has taken on different forms and variations, each carrying its own unique nuances and interpretations. In Aramaic, the language spoken by Jesus, the name is rendered as Yeshu, while in Greek, it is translated as Isis. These linguistic variations highlight the fluidity and adaptability of the name as it traverses diverse cultural landscapes and Jewish tradition. The name Yeshua is deeply rooted in the concept of messianic redemption, symbolizing the hope for a future deliverer who will bring about spiritual renewal and liberation. In Christian theology, Yeshua is synonymous with Jesus Christ, the central figure of the faith who embodies the principles of love, forgiveness, and salvation. Across Islamic and other religious traditions, the name Yeshua is revered as a symbol of prophetic wisdom and divine guidance, bridging the gap between different faiths and beliefs. While the name Yeshua unites believers across diverse cultural and religious backgrounds, there are subtle variations in its interpretation that reflect the unique perspectives and beliefs of different communities. In some traditions, Yeshua is seen as a literal embodiment of divine grace and mercy, while in others, it is viewed as a metaphorical representation of spiritual enlightenment and inner transformation. Despite these differences, the underlying message of hope, redemption, and universal love remains a common thread that binds believers together in a shared reverence for the name Yeshua. In conclusion, the name Yeshua serves as a timeless symbol of faith, resilience, and transcendence that resonates with people of all walks of life. By exploring its origins and meanings in different cultures and languages, we gain a deeper appreciation for the universal appeal and enduring relevance of Yeshua as a beacon of light in a world filled with darkness. The historical and cultural representations of Jesus as a person of color, particularly black, have sparked profound discussions and debates that challenge traditional narratives and offer a more inclusive and diverse perspective on the iconic figure of Jesus Christ. By examining the historical context, significance, and controversies surrounding the depiction of Jesus as black, we unravel a complex tapestry of identity, representation, and faith that resonates with people from all walks of life. Throughout history, the portrayal of Jesus in art and literature has been deeply influenced by cultural norms, artistic conventions, and theological interpretations. 
In Western art, Jesus has often been depicted as a white man with European features, reflecting the dominant racial and aesthetic standards of the time. However, as scholars and artists have delved deeper into the historical context of Jesus' life in the Middle East, a more nuanced and diverse representation of his appearance has emerged, challenging the traditional whitewash depictions and highlighting the possibility of Jesus being a person of color, specifically black. The portrayal of Jesus as black holds profound significance for representation and inclusivity, offering a powerful counter-narrative to the Eurocentric images that have dominated religious iconography for centuries. By depicting Jesus as a person of color, artists and theologians seek to affirm the diversity of human experience and challenge the narrow stereotypes that have marginalized people of color in religious contexts. This inclusive representation not only fosters a sense of belonging and empowerment among black communities but also invites all believers to embrace a more expansive and diverse vision of Jesus as a universal figure of love, compassion, and justice. The depiction of Jesus as black has not been without controversy, with some critics arguing that such representations are ahistorical or politically motivated. Debates surrounding the racial identity of Jesus often touch on sensitive issues of race, power, and privilege, raising questions about the intersection of faith, culture, and identity. While some may resist the idea of a black Jesus due to ingrained biases or theological interpretations, others see it as a powerful affirmation of the diverse and inclusive nature of Christianity that transcends racial boundaries and embraces the full spectrum of human diversity. The depiction of Jesus as black offers a compelling reimagining of a beloved religious figure that challenges stereotypes, expands representation, and fosters a more inclusive and equitable vision of faith. By exploring the historical and cultural representations of Jesus as a person of color, we embark on a journey of discovery and transformation that invites us to see beyond the limitations of tradition and embrace a more expansive and diverse understanding of the divine presence in our midst. The symbolic meanings and interpretations associated with Jesus being depicted as black offer a profound lens through which to explore the intersection of faith, identity, and representation. By analyzing the symbolism of color in religious and cultural contexts, Discussing the impact of portraying Jesus as black on individuals' perceptions and beliefs, and exploring the theological implications of diverse representations of Jesus, we uncover a rich tapestry of meaning and significance that transcends traditional boundaries and invites us to embrace a more inclusive and diverse vision of the divine. Color has long held symbolic significance in religious and cultural traditions, serving as a powerful tool for conveying meaning, emotion, and identity. In the context of depicting Jesus as black, the color black carries a range of symbolic associations, including strength, resilience, mystery, and depth. Black is often seen as a color of power and authority, symbolizing the transformative potential of darkness and the hidden truths that lie beneath the surface. By portraying Jesus as black, artists and theologians tap into these rich symbolic meanings to challenge conventional interpretations and offer a fresh perspective on the divine presence in our midst. The depiction of Jesus as black has a profound impact on individuals' perceptions and beliefs, challenging ingrained stereotypes, expanding representation, and fostering a sense of belonging and empowerment among black communities. For many believers, seeing Jesus portrayed as a person of color offers a powerful affirmation of their own identity and heritage, validating their experiences and deepening their connection to the divine. This inclusive representation not only enriches the spiritual lives of individuals, but also invites all believers to embrace a more expansive and diverse understanding of Jesus as a universal figure of love, compassion, and justice. From a theological perspective, diverse representations of Jesus open up new avenues for exploring the multifaceted nature of divinity and the ways in which God transcends human categories and limitations. By embracing a more inclusive and diverse vision of historical figures like Jesus, we challenge traditional stereotypes, expand representation, and foster a sense of belonging and empowerment among diverse communities. As we reflect on the implications of depicting Jesus as black and exploring diverse representations of historical figures, we are called to consider the ways in which representation and diversity shape our understanding of faith, identity, and community. By engaging with narratives that challenge traditional norms and offer new perspectives on familiar stories, we open ourselves to a deeper appreciation of the rich tapestry of human experience and the diverse ways in which individuals from all backgrounds have contributed to our shared heritage. To continue our exploration of the origin of Jesus' name Yeshua and his depiction as black, we encourage viewers to seek out additional resources, engage in discussions with others, 
and explore related content that delves deeper into the complexities and nuances of representation, diversity, and inclusion in religious narratives. By actively participating in conversations and dialogues on these topics, we not only broaden our perspectives but also contribute to a more inclusive and equitable understanding of faith and identity in our interconnected world. In conclusion, the exploration of Jesus' name Yeshua and his depiction as black offers us a unique opportunity to challenge traditional narratives, expand representation, and foster a more inclusive and diverse vision of faith and identity. By reflecting on the impact of representation and diversity in religious narratives and engaging further with related content and discussions, we embark on a journey of discovery and growth that invites us to embrace the full spectrum of human experience and celebrate the richness of our shared heritage. Ebony Magazine, which is widely considered to be one of the most influential black newspapers in the United States, found itself at the heart of a significant dispute in the year 1962. An illustration that depicted Jesus Christ from the perspective of a black man was published in the magazine, which resulted in widespread uproar and requests for the publication to be banned. It was at the time of the civil rights movement in the United States that this occurrence brought to light the conflicts that existed around the representation of race and religion. It is clear from the narrative of Ebony's A Black Jesus yeah. that the fight for racial equality extended into discussions on the identity and appearance of religious figures. The ability of visual media to disrupt conventional conventions and elicit powerful responses is brought to light by this. This episode continues to be a fascinating and controversial part in the history of African American media and the ongoing arguments over the depiction of race in religious art, even though it has been 60 years since it occurred. John H. Johnson, a pioneering African-American publisher, established Ebony Magazine in 1945. Johnson was the founder of the publication. Negro Digest, Johnson's first magazine, published during the Jim Crow era and served as a platform for black writers, thinkers, and artists. Johnson had previously achieved success with this publication. Johnson's goal in launching Ebony was to produce a publication that would raise awareness of the black community in the United States and provide support for its members. Ebony provided coverage that was positive and affirming of black life, culture, and accomplishments, in contrast to the majority of mainstream magazines that were published during that time period, which either ignored or adversely represented African Americans. Since the beginning of its existence, Ebony has positioned itself as a voice advocating for racial honor and empowerment. Numerous famous and renowned black people, ranging from politicians and entertainers to business executives and civil rights activists, were featured on the covers of the magazine on a regular basis. Ebony also devoted a significant amount of coverage to the expanding movement for racial equality, tracking the most important events and people of the struggle for civil rights. Once Johnson took over as editor of Ebony, the publication swiftly rose to prominence as one of the most widely read magazines in the black community. When it was first published in the early 1960s, it had a circulation of more than 1 million copies per month, making it one of the most successful enterprises owned by African Americans during that generation. The illustration that would later become the subject of a national debate was featured on the cover of Ebony magazine in December of 1962. In the picture, which was named E the Black Messiah, G Jesus Christ was portrayed as a figure with dark skin and an Afrocentric perspective. The artist Hal Jackson was responsible for creating the illustration, which depicted Jesus with significant African features such as large lips, a wide nose, and hair that was tightly curled. The editorial staff at Ebony made a conscious decision to portray Jesus as a black guy in their publication. They desired to disrupt the conventional Eurocentric depiction of Jesus that had been the dominant form of religious art and imagery in both the United States and Europe for a considerable amount of time. The widespread practice of whitewashing religious icons and symbols was a source of rising frustration for a significant number of African Americans as the civil rights movement gained strength. 
The Zhe Black Jesus E cover that appeared on the cover of Ebony magazine was a part of a larger push by the publication to establish black identity and representation in all aspects of American life, including on the religious front. The editors were of the opinion that by the provision of an alternate visual image of Jesus, it would be possible to assist in the empowerment of African Americans and to combat the perception that Christianity and its primary characters were specifically reserved for white people. The cover of E Black Messiah was met with a rapid and furious response from the public. A great number of white Christian organizations and individuals rejected the artwork on the grounds that it was blasphemous and should not be tolerated. By asserting that the portrayal of Jesus as a black man in Ebony magazine was a sacrilegious distortion of the biblical tale, some people went so far as to urge for the publication to be banned. Among the most outspoken critics were individuals who were representatives of the Catholic Church. The National Catholic Welfare Conference, a significant Catholic organization, issued a sharp censure, noting that the coverage could be offensive to many Christians and may tend to divide rather than unite people of goodwill. This was stated in the statement from the National Catholic Welfare Conference. The chorus of criticism was increased by the participation of several conservative Protestant leaders. One of the most influential evangelical preachers of the day, the Reverend Billy Graham, condemned the ebony cover, stating that it was a deterrent to the gospel and it could do great harm to the Christian religion. Graham's statement was made in response to the publication's recent publication, in spite of the criticism, the editorial staff at Ebony maintained their unwavering stance. They maintained that their intention was not to insult or blaspheme, but rather to challenge the long-standing tradition of presenting Jesus as a figure who was white and from Europe. Considering that Jesus was a historical figure from the Middle East, they claimed that it was highly probable that he had dark skin and traits that were characteristic of the Middle East. Furthermore, the Ebony team believed that the image of a black Jesus inside of Christianity was a potent signal of racial inclusion and representation within the Christian community. They were of the opinion that providing a different visual picture of Christ could be of assistance in attracting a greater number of African Americans to the faith, as well as in making them feel with greater acceptance and representation inside the church, and in spite of the stringent criticism, Ebony did not back down from her position. John H. Johnson, the editor-in-chief of the magazine, defended the decision by declaring that the graphic was not intended to be disrespectful, but rather to just stimulate thought and discussion. Johnson's statement was made in defense of the decision. The uproar that surrounded Ebony's E Black Jesus E did not take place in a vacuum. It was a part of a larger cultural and political scene in which the fight for racial equality was being fought on various fronts, including in the domains of religion and visual representation. This conflict was taking place in the United States as the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s progressed. African Americans were progressively demanding their right to be seen, heard, and acknowledged as equals in American culture. This occurred during the American Civil Rights Movement. As part of this, we challenged the dominant white-centric norms and narratives that had been pervasive in American culture for a long time, including those that were prevalent in the sphere of religion. There were a great number of African-American theologians and religious leaders who were actively seeking to redefine the Christian religion in a manner that was more inclusive and representative of the experience of other people of African descent. They contended that the typical representation of Jesus and other biblical figures, which was centered on European culture, did not adequately portray the racial and cultural diversity that existed in the ancient Middle East and the context of a larger movement known as a black theology which aimed to reclaim and reinterpret the Christian religion through the prism of black liberation and empowerment. This effort to de-Africanize Christianity was a component of that larger movement. There were those who were at the forefront of this intellectual and spiritual movement, such as the Reverend James Cone, who was a pioneering black theologian. Point one way to look at the cover of Ebony's album A Black Jesus E is as a visual reflection of the larger movement that is taking place within the Christian tradition to promote racial inclusion and representation. The journal was opposing the long-standing practice of whitewashing religious imagery by showing Jesus as a dark-skinned, Afrocentric figure. Additionally, the magazine was affirming the right of African Americans to see themselves and their experiences represented in the major symbols of their faith. The debate surrounding the cover of E Black Messiah must, at the same time, be viewed in the perspective of the larger civil rights movement and the fight for racial justice in the United States of America. At the beginning of the 1960s, the fight for desegregation, voting rights, and economic equality was reaching a fever pitch. 
Activists and leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X were at the forefront of this fight via time when many white Americans, particularly those in positions of authority and influence, were feeling a profound sense of threat as a result of the growing assertiveness and militancy of the civil rights movement, the ebony cover was designed to reflect the sentiment. Some individuals interpreted the concept of EEA Black Jesus E as a direct challenge to the conventional power structures that are dominated by white people within American culture, including those that are found in the sphere of religion. That being said, the outcry against the cover of Ye Black Messiah Je was not simply about the picture of Jesus. Rather, it was about the larger debate over the status of African Americans in American society, as well as the continuous fight for racial fairness and representation. A look at the consequences and implications of the controversy. 5,000 characters in total. In spite of the widespread condemnation and calls for boycott, Ebony Magazine remained steadfast in its decision to publish the cover of the Je Black Messiah Je Magazine. The editorial staff said that their intention was not to insult or blaspheme, but rather to question the long-standing tradition of showing Jesus as a white European person and to provide a representation of the major figure of Christianity that is more racially inclusive and representative of the entire population. In the wake of the issue, Ebony was shown a great amount of support by members of the African-American community. The journal received appreciation from a large number of black pastors, theologians, and lay people for its bravery in giving an alternate visual image of Jesus that resonated with their own religious and cultural experiences. Some people even went so far as to claim that the cover of Ye Black Messiah you could assist increase the number of African Americans who convert to Christianity by making them feel more accepted and represented within the Christian community. For instance, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. voiced his approval of the ebony cover, stating that it was a legitimate and understandable expression of the search for racial identity and the desire for a savior who can be identified with. He also emphasized that the cover was symbolic of the longing for a savior who could be identified with. Nevertheless, the pushback from white Christian organizations and leaders continued uninterrupted throughout the entire process. The J. Black Jesus E. cover of Ebony magazine was a blasphemous distortion of biblical truth, according to the National Association of Evangelicals, which is one of the conservative Protestant groups that has reaffirmed their requests for the publication to be banned. It is also important to note that the Catholic Church has not changed its stance regarding the illustration.